Hi guys, and welcome to question three of Biology Unit 2, June 2014. Um, this is an oxygen dissociation curve question, so the first thing you should do is check out my video on hemoglobin um, before we even start this question. So click the link above and have a little watch. So now that you've done that, um, the oxygen dissociation curve for hemoglobin shifts to the right during vigorous exercise. This is bore shift. Explain the advantage of this shift. Um, now, it's always useful when you, whenever you see, um, uh, whenever you see an oxygen dissociation curve question, sketch yourself a little curve because it will come in handy. So I'm going to put one down here. So there's my curve. There's normal, and to the right is during exercise. So that's your bore shift. Okay. Um, and when we talk about oxygen dissociation curve shifting to the right, we always talk about the advantage being. Um, that it's going to unload more readily, okay? So, it unloads more readily, and it's going to start doing this um, at a higher partial pressure of oxygen. So, on the graph, it's unloading further to the right. So, unloading starts about here rather than here. So, you know, a big difference in terms of partial pressure. Um, so at a higher partial pressure of O2, so it starts unloading sooner. Um, why is that beneficial? Well, it's going to supply the res it's going to supply the muscles and the tissues with more oxygen for respiration. So more O2, and we should really say aerobic respiration just to to make that extra scientifically correct for aerobic resp. Uh, that's three marks. Nice. Okay, um, here we've got a picture of a Weddell seal. Look at that face, isn't he the most cutest thing you ever did see? Um, so he lives in really cold environments, um, and our Weddell seal just here has a very particular body shape. He's fat, he is chunky, he is blubbery. But it's the shape it's asking about. Um, how is it adapted to living in a cold environment? Well, look at how beautifully smooth he is. He's not like an elephant. He doesn't have massive big ears that would increase his surface area. Um, but instead, whoops, I should really get rid of these, these lines and things. Um, instead, we think about this guy uh, as having a rather small surface area to volume ratio. So minimal surface area, lots of volume. And the advantage to that um, is there's going to be less loss of heat. So you can maintain warmer and maintain a warmer internal temperature. So less heat lost to environment. Nice and straightforward. It's pretty much a GCSE question. So don't, don't you know, overthink these uh, too much. So let's have a little look. Next question. Weddell seals can remain underwater for a long periods of time. Interesting fact, not really that relevant to your question. Figure 3 shows the rate of blood flow to different organs of a Weddell seal before a dive and during a long dive. Okay, so interesting things before um, we start to look at this in a great deal of detail. Um, if we look at before a dive and during a dive, so if we compare those two, things we should be picking up on. Hey look, the brain gets the same amount of blood flow all the time, whereas during a long dive, Lungs, heart, and other organs get progressively less and less and less. Um, before a dive, the lungs and heart get more blood flow, and other organs pretty much the same. So we're going to have a little look at these and see what the question wants. So describe and explain the changes in blood flow uh, during a long dive. Right. Uh, first mark, we'll say that the brain is the same. Brain has the same blood flow. Nice. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, whereas the others fall. So the other organs get lower rates of blood flow. Nice and straightforward. Um, da, 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 da. Why is that beneficial for the brain? So the brain needs blood because it needs to... Uh, oops, I'm getting a notification. Thank you very much, Miss... Am V Maker or 
whatever that is. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, the brain needs a constant supply of oxygen. So we keep the blood flow to the brain exactly the same. So if you didn't have your brain working, you would fall unconscious, and that's probably going to result in you dying if you're a seal diving deep. Um, what else are we looking at? Uh, why do you think the lungs are reduced? Well, the lungs aren't going to be used. Okay, Lungs not used when diving, so they need less oxygen. We've pretty much got all the marks now. Uh, but what else can we say? Um, and the heart is pumping less. So heart rate lower when diving. So you slow your heart rate down. So you need less oxygen. Nice. Three marks there. Uh, you could also say that the blood is diverted to the muscles um, for swimming. Um, but those are the ones I would be uh, going for. And that is the end of question uh, three. So give yourselves eight out of eight. Please check out my oxygen dissociation curve question, and I hope you found that useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for video four, question four.